so today I wanted to do a video which I'm going to show you we're going to go into Harbor Freight Tools <clears throat> now if you didn't know and I've mentioned this probably a couple times in other videos um, you can actually find some sewing tools at Harbor Freight Tools so we're gonna go in there. I'm gonna try and film this discreetly because I'm not like an experienced YouTuber with no shame that just walks around vlogging in public. So I'm gonna do this kind of incognito. And then um, after I buy it, I can kind of further discuss maybe something that I couldn't say in the store. Probably we'll try to have voiceover, but if not, I'll speak as much as possible while I'm in the store. So. Let's get shopping. Okay, so you see these mallets that I'm showing you right here? So this is great, and I'll tell you what mallets can be used for in terms of sewing. Um, like if you're doing leather work, you can you can iron some things, although I would avoid not to. I've seen some videos where they say it's okay, you just have to put it on low heat. But if you want to like really kind of quote-unquote finger iron something i have read and i've done this with leather or very heavy vinyl you just kind of like bash it down with a rubber mallet just to make it stay in a certain shape that you want it to um, same thing like if you're trying to put in maybe grommets and you don't want to use a hammer because sometimes you can really hammer hard and then just kind of like squash the grommet and ruin it so a mallet is also a, a nice way to to use that towards those types of tools and see right here, this is great. There's a digital postage scale, awesome measuring supplies, lots of great scissors here. As you can see, I'm gonna show you the giant ones that I already own, but these are just badass scissors, just scissors for every kind of need. Look at that, dog beds, they got everything. So I'm just kind of going around the store, getting weird looks from men. <laughs> it was really strange. I was just like, yes, I'm here shopping. Don't mind me. Mm, the clamps. I'll talk about those in a moment. They have lots of great clamps. Off to the left there, I already turned away, but they have lots of good filers. Okay, so I finished going to the store. I tried to film as much as I could, but it was just really, really awkward because I was like the only female in that store. So I was getting weird looks from old men buying their... Uh, tool supplies but anyways so I thought I'd do this in the car I'm waiting to pick up my son from school so this is just what I needed that I want to show you that they have sewing supplies there but if you are going to do more crafting stuff like let's say if I was going to do some costume work with fiberglass they definitely have the masks the ventilators the different types of like dremels and drum drilling tools with the different attachments and, and a lot of great variety of, of different files at you know higher or lower grit points so that's just that but I'm, I'm not gonna go into like the crafty side of what you could get at Harbor Freight Tools I'm just talking about you know sewing wardrobe related stuff so Some of the stuff I bought, um, I have a shoot coming up. And just in general for my sewing and like my stylus kit, um, I bought two packs of these Pittsburgh six piece spring clamp sets. And let me explain why this is great. Okay, so like if you're styling someone in a photo shoot or something, you know, there's never really time for alterations so you can always use these clamps just to pull clothing from the back and just kind of like pin it clamp it in place and you're not damaging it same thing with these uh quilters use a lot of little clamps um and these were a pretty good deal how much did i spend on these i spent they were a dollar 99 each for six so that's not too bad i have to look at the price comparison in terms of like joann's or hobby lobby but I, I really like the strength of these clamps because I can use them for sewing purposes and wardrobe styling purposes. Also, if you're doing work with vinyl or leather or things that cannot be pinned because they leave damage, like hole damage afterwards, these are great also for that. Okay, that's why I bought two of them. Very good. 
Another thing I've been wanting is, uh, this is a four inch magnetic car parts holder. Great for, um, as you can see here in the back of the picture, you can like clamp it on something metal. So if you have like a metal, I don't know, something metal in your garage or not even, you don't have to put this on like that. You can just have it on your table and you can just put pins in it or if you drop your pins on the floor and there's just like a whole bunch, you know, you can kind of like magnetic pick up the pins. Um, so I, I really see and it even says works upside down. So this is this is great for picking up pins and little magnetic pieces. Also, I wanted some more rulers. I didn't have much. I don't have many rulers in my house. I just have my measuring tape, a yardstick, and a little itty bitty ruler, like a clear one for quilting, but that's about it. So I bought myself a regular ruler. This was 99 cents. You can always need one. Um, I also showed in the video, there's like a, a wall that shows all their ruler measuring type stuff. Great for sewing, great for construction. I mean, it's just, it's wonderful. And I bought this carpenter square just when I'm doing uh, 90 degree angles and I'm making patterns for something like pillows or this, this, this definitely can come in handy. And another thing I bought that I, it kind of came to me while I was in the store and this could go for either crafting, distressing or sewing and distressing. So I saw this three piece detail brush set. Um, it, one is steel. It says steel for rust, paint, and scale, brass, the middle one, for metal, and nylon for tile. Well, you can certainly use these like if you want to distress a jean jacket, the brass or the steel one would be great. Um, I need to kind of brush out some embroidery floss fringe that I'm, I'm working on for um, a client's jacket. And um, I thought the nylon one would brush that out really nicely. So I'm definitely gonna use these for um, sewing, distressing. I really, really like that. Um, other than that, I do wanna go over, um, you know, in the in the store, I did go and I, I panned over like the scissor area, which was really great too. And I'm hoping that you saw those really gigantic scissors. I do have that, I do have those scissors that I've purchased prior to doing this video. I've had them for a while now and I, I do kind of bust them out every so often in a sewing video and I talk about them. Um, so yeah, those are great too. I just, I didn't buy another one cause I had one. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Harbor Freight Tools, definitely a gem, you know, secret weapon in terms of sewing uh, or crafting. It's a great. And then of course, if you sign up in their mailing list, you get the catalogs every so often and there's always like a 20% discount. It's like Joann's, like they always have coupons. So that's really great too for, for your wallet, for your budget. Um, so thank you much, so much for watching. I'll, I'll get back to what I was doing, which is just waiting for my son to get out of school. <laughs> All right, bye.